think it might run better just because of the way that it sits. It's a lot easier for people to program. A lot easier. This is a no brand. Our guys here, I can teach our guys, and just by watching you guys 10 minutes, I would have been able to say, we can teach our guys how to program this. Say, say that again? I think it's pretty good. As a seasoned welder, I've never seen better. <laughs> All right, so what you see here is Matt is creating a program. Um, it's entering the name of the program in right now. The software that you see in the left-hand side is what's actually on his phone. We've got two camera angles so you can fully see what he's doing. And um, we've got a timer running so you guys can actually see how long it takes to create a program and uh, get it in production. Now, what's interesting here is he's not using, using a drop-down menu right now. We're going to do it the long way, and we're going to enter welding parameters in manually. So he's taking the long way of entering welding parameters in. So... Right now, what I want you to notice is he sets the phone down on the table, grabs the robot. You can see the software on the left-hand side. Right now, he's got linear weld highlighted. Nothing's in the program. Brings it to the first point, stores that point. You see it add in there. Goes to the second point. Does not touch the software at all. The phone's far away from him. Adds the next point in. Now, there's where it gets interesting. He's got to put an air cut move in to go above. Oh, he just changed to an air cut move without touching the software at all. All adds an air cut, switches back to a weld. You can see it at the bottom, boom, linear weld. And he's putting in his second weld. He's not touching software. He's just putting pro points in a program. And this is what is important. If you can go through and put an infinite number of welds in a program without ever having to touch software, just using buttons, how much training do you think it takes to get your people up to speed on how to do this? You've got a phone, you've got an app, you've got something that's accessible, easy for people to use, and software now that you don't need to spend all kinds of time pressing buttons on. So, linear weld again. It's on his third linear weld, making a part, putting in his second point. Boom, he's done. Now, what's interesting is you're gonna actually see him take the time to add a command in. We're gonna talk about this command over time a little bit here um, as we go through some of the various uh, mores. But um, he's going to add a command in that is report production. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. There's your program. See? Unintimidating. Sets it up in a playlist, creates a new playlist, inserts the program in the playlist, puts the phone down, hits the button. Robot comes in, starts making first part. Let's see when the arc starts. Boom. Two minutes, 20 seconds. Two minutes, 20 seconds from a part sitting in front of the robot to welding and making your first part. This is the difference that is gonna reduce the batch sizes that you can do, that is going to increase the number of people on your floor that can take, make, utilize and take, make use of the, the product and the software. This changes the game, guys. And there's some good quality welds looking there. All right. Looks pretty good.